Howdy. Once again, a mountain water video. We are talking about white rivers. I don't know if you have seen this little collage. We have Mount St. Helens in the USA, which is a volcano. It has white rivers attached to it. Yeah, attached is definitely the wrong word, but I just use it now. And Mount St. Helens has also the world's fastest growing glacier in its caldera. There are many other white rivers all over the world. Nauchik in Russia, Momor, France, Italy, Udine, Parma, Volgau or Valgau in Germany. And I still think this is a very important topic. And I really try to figure out why and how. Of obviously, it has to do with Earth as a living organism. It has to do with Earth's core and, in a way, the layering of the whole thing. Precipitation and all kinds of things. And I mean this kind of precipitation which happens through transmutation of the elements. Which is by electric currents. And with them sometimes it's also heat. Like lightning strikes, which can transmutate elements. What many probably don't know, we have also petrified springs in the French Alps or in the Alps region. This could be very well also in Yellowstone National Park, which is a volcano. But before we go into the Alps region, I just stumbled across this picture I made on the October 16th, 2022. And I looked at that and I thought, whoa, that's interesting. Because if we go up here. And there we have this earthquake activity, which is going on now, maybe since a week or something. In this area. Which is in a way a little bit offset from this other map I just showed, this screenshot, because the line was something like this. And this is like a little bit to the north, but still approximately in the middle. From... Yeah, there's Kaiserstuhl Vulcano and we are a little bit to the north. But nonetheless, River Rhine and here we have a volcano. Kaiserstuhl Vulcano. And why I took this now um, to show you, you probably understand in a few minutes. I tried to keep it short because I don't know how annoying it is to watch really long videos. But anyway... Let's go to the Alps region. Let's make it like this. Let's go into the center of the Alps. There is one down here and one up here. And probably the height difference might be not too big after all. And it's just basic alpine surface maybe here we have a small water body there is some water pouring out maybe it's just a shadow 11 hours ago 1.39 kilometers in depth there is a water body here and if we zoom out a little bit and back up maybe it's easier if i try to turn it around if it's <clears throat> now this was really hard. Here it says Reus Quelle. Reus is a river. We have three lakes here. 
three water bodies, one of them has even a name. Schwarzi Seeli. It could mean Black Lake. I think it means Black Lake. One important feature to note is that there isn't any glacier. Maybe there has been once glaciers in this region as well. Now we just have those water bodies left. Royce. We cannot click on anything here because we are in this application. And you can see there are like many, many, many other water springs. Water is pouring all over. Water is pouring out of the mountains all over the place. Wherever you look, it's just pouring out. You know. But anyway, let's switch back around. I could have used the button. <laughs> anyway. The Royce River will somehow, I think it goes into this lake, I'm not too sure. Is this, is this the Royce? Does it tell anywhere? Yes, Royce. Same river. Goes into the Vierwaldstättersee. Vierwaldstätter Lake. Continues its uh, journey. Maybe this is the Aare. Where is the Royce? But anyway. Here, three rivers are joining, and I think this here is the Royce. Royce. Okay. They are joining here all together, and they go on as one river, and they join the River Rhine. Yeah, there are many interesting things <laughs> along the way there, but anyway, the River Rhine continues its journey first westwards and in Basel. Which is here. It takes a turn northwards. And it passes. The uh, Kaiserstuhl Vulcano, from which it's not a long distance to the earthquake spot we started off with. So, in other words, if we go back to the Alpine region here, especially this quake. Yeah, check it out, it doesn't say. It says. That's the source of the Royce River, which we just followed until it passed a volcano. Yeah, it has merged into the Rhine River, but nonetheless, there is a connection from the volcano there until, or to this place, to the spring and source of the river. Now let's go on the other side of the valley. There is something written about Hannibal, the guy who crossed the Alps with his elephants. 17 hours ago, 1.58 kilometers in depth, and we are obviously in a rather wide region, which is a glacier. So it is a glacial quake, and somehow, somewhere here, it here. Rhone Quelle. That's the source of yet another river, which flows to the south. So the Royce, what we just saw before, joins the river Rhine and they'll go north. And here we have the river Rhone, Rhone, Rhone 
which goes through this valley here, which is very big, at least for an alpine Hmm. Yeah, I don't know the word. No, but anyway, Rome. Bonjour le Rhone. Yeah, bridge over the Rhone. And that's also White River. See? Have a look, see. Rather wide sediments, meandering patterns, which indicates that there was, or is, or every now and then, there could be much more water flowing that river. And the Rhone joins the river, or joins the lake, Geneva, and afterwards, I don't think it's the Rhone anymore, it has a different name. But that's also an interesting spot. <laughs> Check it out. It's still the Rhone. 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 But check it out. Here we have a really wide river. Which is the river Arve. So the Arve is a really wide river. <laughs> yeah. You can disagree, of course. Don't believe me. Make your own research and stuff like that. Watch my playlist. <laughs> and there are the people who are referring to playlists, so why shouldn't I do the same? And I don't know, there isn't any marked volcano amongst this path of the river which enters somewhere here. I'm not sure, is it Marseille? Probably. What happens? Yeah. It doesn't really work anymore. <laughs> Maybe it's here. Somewhere the river, it's still the Rhone, Rhone, yeah. It enters the Mediterranean. Ta da! There isn't any marked volcanoes too close to that vicinity, but we have to remember that cryptodomes aren't really understood. Mountains where water is pouring out. And I think that's very important. And here is also a very interesting place where we have every now and then quakes. Does it say somewhere Jura Park? Because it is the Jura Park. There you can find all kinds of stuff, ammonites and dinosaurs, petrified stuff and cementized. Many of them are cementized. They're not basically vitrified, but cementized. Which also included heat in order to evaporate the water and leave behind the cementized things. And there is also oleithic iron ore Herznach is the place where this, where this old mine is, wherever it is, and limestone-ish water sources all over the place we have. There is at least one of these tufa ditch which is growing, very cautious rich water pouring out of the mountain and uh, it deposits the calcium onto the ground and CO2 is going into the air. Not too far from that, we have the Synchrotron light source of Switzerland. This would be a fun place to visit once. On the other side of the river, which might be the Reuss. I think it's the Reuss. Yeah. 
We are back to the Royce. We have the PSI, Power Shadow Institute, from where actually I still wait an answer. And here we have a part of the nuclear storage facility. And if we go still further down a little bit, we find the oldest still intact or working nuclear power plant of all Europe. Pets now. Yeah, I don't know. Just imagine if there would be a huge flood there. For whatever reason. Like, there would be all of a sudden much more water coming out of the mountains due to fluctuations in the electromagnetic environment of Earth. What would happen to this nuclear power plant? It would just get swept away. And the actual storage place for the nuclear power waste, power, nuclear, what is it? Nuclear waste is here in the mountain. It's not really visible, but there is this kind of cliff. And there's just, I think that's the entry somewhere. Here's a road. Maybe that's the entry to it. It's not really visible from anywhere, which is understandable. And the funny thing is, on top of it, we have this water source. <laughs> and a little lake. On top of the nuclear waste facility. And if we follow this river, there is like another nuclear power plant. Leibstadt. But anyway, these are modern day volcanoes, nuclear power plants. <laughs> yeah, this, this was just a random video about two quakes here in the middle of the Alps, where we have, can I turn it around that we could in a way see, it doesn't turn, now it turns. No, it's not possible. Now it says Reus Quelle. I just tried to get the quakes and the wells in one picture, but it doesn't work. They are too far apart. But anyway. The source of the Rhone River, which ends up in the Mediterranean and the quake. Another quake, not too far from the Reusquelle. No, I don't think that this is too much of a coincidence. It's just somehow hard to wrap your head around it. This, like, how... They could be connected, but they are. And I tried to figure out how, how it works, what's the thing. And now I noticed that I have been talking again 18 minutes about stuff probably no one cares about. But anyway, I think I leave it here. And I find this very interesting to see how they are connected. And everything is connected. There are no islands in space. Thanks. Bye.